Hi, and thanks so much for joining me. Today we are talking all about the new holiday collection by Hourglass. If you'd like to see that, please keep watching. I did purchase the entire collection, both palettes and the lip colors. Today we are talking about this one because that's one that arrived. <laughs> and then we are talking about both lip shades. So let's go ahead to try them and we'll talk about the items at the okay, end. Okay, let's first go in. I've got all of my makeup on except for finishing powder, bronzer, and blush. So let's go in with the finishing powder. This is in soft light. This one right here is soft light. I do have the ambient lighting brush, but I prefer a buffing brush with this. So I'm going to use this Chantecai Buff and Blur. And I am liking the shade of this finishing powder because it has some peach in it, which if you've been here before, you know I love a peach kind of tinted powder because it does color correct a little bit for me. I've concealed, but I always need a little bit of help, especially from the front here. I'm having a little trouble actually getting in this pan though. The only thing this brush is a little wide for it but if I'm careful I can do it so I like to because I have concealer here I like to just pat and then I'll buff yeah if I buff here then it'll wipe off all of my concealer that I already have I do have discoloration right here in the front so we'll see how much this helps okay so here's half versus this side I love their ambient lighting powders. I think they're so beautiful. Now I don't know if soft light is new, but it's definitely one I would pick up if it was a single. It is adding a bit of color to my face, I noticed. I don't know if I can swatch dim light next to this, but I will show you them side by side so you can see. So there is the finishing powder on. Yeah, again, I don't know if I've seen this before, but I really, I like the peach shade. I'm always confused when they come out with these palettes, what's new, what's been in palettes before, and what exists in a single. So I'll try and list everything below for you in terms of where it stands, because I think, yes, yeah, something looks similar here. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a blush next, and I'm looking for a blush brush. I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> Couldn't find my, oh, never mind. It's been here the whole time. Okay. I'm going to go in with this Wayne Goss Artist Brush. It's the medium sized one in the blush, this color right here. This is a beautiful blush. It doesn't seem to have as much iridescence as the other ones do. So here's the blush side. Oh, that's pretty. No blush. Yeah, Hourglass does beautiful powder products. Oh, I think it was the lighting, lightning, lighting powder. Yeah, that one didn't really work out that well for me. But other than that, I can't think of another powder product from Hourglass that hasn't been beautiful. Yeah, just beautiful. That blush is really pretty, it glows. I think it's so beautiful. Let's go in now with the bronzer. Let's use this. I know it's a blush brush, but I like to use this for bronzer. So this is the bronze color, this one right here. That looks so pretty. I don't usually get excited about these little, like the four palettes. I don't think I've had one before, but I love the shades. Okay, this is my kind of bronzer. <laughs> More golden for sure. Really pretty. So we've got half. No bronzer. I knew I'd like this bronzer just upon looking at it. So pretty. I don't know. I feel like this is a hard bronzer color to find. As you see, I've been using quite a few bronzers lately and the colors have been like really red or pink. This is actually golden. So I hope it comes across on the camera that way. Now what I'd like to do is take a little bit more of this powder, the one in soft light or the ambient lighting powder. And I like to go over where I put the blush in the front of my face right here, just to kind of diffuse it a little bit more and then see if I can help with those lovely, lovely dark spots. 
Oh, I almost forgot the highlighter. <laughs> I got so excited about the bronzer. Here we're going in with a highlighter right here. This one right here for highlighter. This is in the shade Champagne Strobe Light. Oh, this is a Wayne Goss brush, by the way, number 15. I really like this fan brush. I actually looked quite a bit for one that was the right size. I think this is a perfect size. Really great for this palette as well. Okay, so next let's go in with the lipsticks. So I did pick up the, I don't even know what this is called. This one? <laughs> I, I will list it below. It's the one that's part of this collection. Okay, so the one inside of this one is at Dawn. See, this looks like such a pretty color if you have my coloring in terms of skin tone and lip color. Because it looks like my lip color. <laughs> okay, this is at Dawn. I think it's a really pretty everyday color. Whoopsies. I am happy with this color. Yeah, it has a bit of coral to it, so I like that warmth. I thought it was going to be a little bit cooler, but that's beautiful. Yeah, I thought it was going to be mauve than that. Okay, so let's go in. Let's see if I can change this out correctly. Okay, so just take them out. And I'm putting at dusk. Yeah, I think that I'm going to like this one a lot. So I love Hourglass. I have so much Hourglass <laughs> that I was looking to see which ones these were similar to and which ones already had some of these colors in there. Now, I thought I had a lot of Hourglass, but it looks like this is very similar to an existing palette, which I don't actually have. So I have the Ghost palette right here. This was the Ghost Lighting Edit palette this one, but there was the, and it says out of stock, it's the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Ghost, which I'm shocked I don't have because I loved this ambient lighting powder in soft light, this one right here. This is in the Lighting Edit Unlocked Ghost palette. I'll put an image of that ghost palette here because I don't have it, the Unlocked Ghost palette. Yeah, I wish I had that one. It also has Golden Bronze Light, which is this bronzer right here. So these two so far are in an existing palette. This also has Mood Flush, which is right here, Mood Flush. And then it also has Champagne Strobe Light. So the only two that this Ambient Lighting Edit Ghost Unlocked doesn't have, wait, <laughs> the only two this doesn't have that the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Ghost Palette has is Nude Glow and Filtered Light. And I wish I had this one because this looks so beautiful. Where was I when this came out? Let me see a little bit more about it. This is a 2019 holiday collection. I have no idea where I was and why I didn't purchase it, but if it was available, I would buy it because it looks so perfect for me. And I think that this yeah, I think this convinces me that I should have picked that other one up. So if you didn't pick that one up last year, I would pick this up because these are so stunning. I love this color. Again, it's got that peachy hue to it. It did add some color to my face though. And then this bronzer is more golden, which is what I love. This blush isn't a peach blush. I love a peach blush, but it's so soft that it works really well if you want to go a little bit like lighter, a little bit more diffused with it. And then this highlighter, really pretty. So I love all the colors in here. Maybe I don't need a palette with six because I love all of these. Now for the lip colors at Dawn was really pretty. I was surprised it had some warmth to it, but I think it's great for every day. And then this, of course, at dusk, did I say at Dawn? At Dawn was the other one, if I didn't say that correctly. At dusk, stunning. I have become quite accustomed to a red lip. I think it really just was more me getting used to how it looks on me um, because I'm used to more neutral, subdued colors, but I really love a beautiful red lip and this is so pretty. So let me look at it. It has a just the slightest coolness on me. Now what can happen is if there's a lip that doesn't have a lot of cool tones in it, once I put it on though, it can pull much cooler because of my skin tone being so warm. 
but this just has the slightest coolness to it, which makes it so pretty. It's not too blue based. I'm so happy I picked these both up. I am actually not as excited about the larger palette that's coming, but we will of course try that on as well. Yeah, I'm not sure why I'm not as excited about them, but I was more excited about this smaller palette as well as the lipstick. So if you were wondering about them, you are my skin tone. I would definitely pick this up. It's perfect. I wish I had picked up the other one, like I said, in 2019, that larger palette. But I think maybe, can I put my name? It's still on their website, which I think is interesting. So I see it is still here on their website. It says out of stock, but I'm going to join the wait list and see if I can get my hands on it. That's how much I like this palette. Uh, yeah, I really like it. <laughs> One thing to note though, this finishing powder did add color to my complexion. So if you are lighter than me, just know that it may add some color. It's not as translucent as something like, let me actually just see. I said I was gonna talk about dim light. So here's, this is dim light right here. And this is, uh, what is this called? Soft light. So you can see the difference. Dim light has a little bit more cool to it than soft light. This is actually a little bit softer than soft light, <laughs> but those are the two side by side. So I hope that was helpful for you in case you wanted it. I highly recommend both the lip and this smaller palette. I think they are beautiful. If you love Hourglass, you're going to love it anyway, but I just Love that golden tone in there. I love the peach tone. I hope that was helpful for you in case you were interested. So please take care of each other. Stay well if you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.